In this video, as always, I'm gonna go over cases, document, and email NVC National Visa Center is working on this week. And also, I'm gonna show you how the US consulate prioritize the visa cases. If it's something you wanna know, just stay tuned, and I'll be right back. USA Monda. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Monday. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome here. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also US citizens regarding the immigration questions. And sometimes I give advice to newcomers to the United States of America so they can stay out of trouble. But today's video is about document cases and email nvc national visa center is working on and now uh, we're going to talk about like i say in the introduction uh, about the way the u.s consulate prioritizing uh, uh, visa cases okay so some of you guys who petition for your relative uh, who's still waiting for nvc to contact you after your case is approved by uscis well once on uh, your case is approved on uh, nvc eventually going to contact you but most of the time when your case is approved, uh, it will take at least 45 days to 60 days in order for NVC National Visa Center to contact you. And once they contact you, they're going to send you uh, your case number and invoice ID, which you're going to use to log in into the system. Okay. And then once you log into the system, you're going to pay fees, you're going to submit different documents. So yesterday, which was on April 5th, well, NVC announced on the website that uh, they are working on cases they received from USCIS on March 23rd. Okay, so they are working on those cases. So roughly, like I say, once your well, once your case is approved by USCIS, it can take like a week or uh, to two weeks in order for USCIS to send your case to uh, NVC National Visa Center. Okay, sometimes. Uh, uh, you might think that USCIS already sent your case to NVC, but they didn't. That's the reason why when you call NVC for update and they'll tell you that, oh, no, they don't have your case in the system. Another thing also, when uh, USCIS send your case to NVC, when NVC receives it, they're going to key in all your petition information in the system first. So if you call them before they key in all your petition information in the system, they won't be able to give you any update so you just have to be patient till they reach out to you um, by themselves okay so once you receive your uh, logins information which you're gonna put in a safe place because um, because you don't want anybody to you know take those information logging into uh, nvc system and then uh, mess up your case okay so once you receive those information you log into the system you the petitioner you're gonna pay some fees um, and then uh, you're gonna submit some document and also you're gonna submit a um, document of the intended immigrant or the intended immigrant can submit uh, can submit those documents themselves so all these information is for you guys who are new here who don't know exactly how the process works or uh, the process works and also who don't have a chance to check NVC update every week okay once you send all those uh, documents and you pay the fees NVC has to review those stuff okay they have to review it if everything is correct then your case is going to be documentary qualified in case something is missing nvc will contact you and let you know that okay this document is missing or you submit a, the wrong document okay so yesterday also which uh, was april 5th nvc announced on the website that they are reviewing document they received from you guys on january 25th they're reviewing those documents and then after that like i say once everything is on uh, uh, correct on their side your case will be documentary qualified meaning that you're going to be in line to go to the u.s consular you the uh, intent immigrant okay meaning that nvc gonna try their best to schedule any of your appointment for you i know most of you guys uh, are um, at that level You'll be waiting for any of your appointment later okay so once an nvc is able to schedule an interview appointment for you they will send you your visa interview appointment letter now that the immigration suspension is over most of the u.s consulate uh, didn't resume all visa services yet okay this uh, they resume partial visa services so you just have to be patient until 
until your visa interview is scheduled okay so the third update today will be regarding email well, some of you guys are probably send email to nvc ask them different questions well they are responding to some of those emails one thing you have to keep in mind is that when you send an uh, inquiry for or to expedite your case for example it's not gonna take like a week in order for uh, nvc to uh, respond to your email okay it can take like a two month okay but this email like i say it's just for people who send questions to nvc is maybe why uh they are not getting an uh, interview appointment letter or different questions well nvc announced also on their website yesterday on uh, april 5th that uh, they are responding to email they received from you guys on march 23rd so at this point you have to make sure you check your email boss and also you can log in into nvc national visa center computer electronic application center to see if the um, nvc didn't send you any message so now at the beginning of this video i told you that i'm going to show you on uh, the way uh, the u.s consulate uh, is prioritizing uh, visa cases if you are ready let's go in front of my computer so here uh, i'm gonna show you basically on um, how the u.s consulate and uh, different posts on uh, uh prioritizing uh, visa cases okay so this uh, is kind of the question most of people are asking um uh, people who are uh, either visa applicant or petitioner are asking the u.s consulate okay uh, the question is on uh, which additional visa services are mc consulate beginning to provide and here is on uh, the response response okay all of our mission are continuing on uh, to provide emergency and mission critical visa services so they still on uh, providing those services since on uh, on the beginning of the pandemic okay so as post on specific conditions on permits and after meeting demand for services to u.s citizens our mission will face in processing some routine immigrant and non-immigrant visa cases so basically uh they have been providing uh, services for u.s citizens since the beginning of the pandemic uh, as well and they continue doing so then after that uh, they're gonna you know start working on routine uh, immigrant non-immigrant visa cases as well so now here's the thing post on that process on immigrant visa application will prioritize immediate relative family members of u.s citizens including uh, inter-country adoptions fiance of u.s citizens and certain special immigrant visa applicant okay so they're gonna prioritize a relative of u.s citizens first also uh, inter-country adoption like if you adopt a child you try and bring to united states of america stuff like that and also fiance of u.s citizens okay and certain uh, special immigrant uh, visa applicant they are prioritizing those first so some of you guys who are not immediate relative i know you're still gonna get your uh, visa interview letter you know but you know like i said the priority is on uh, for these people first and then also post-processing non-immigrant visa application will continue to prioritize travelers with urgent travel need on foreign diplomats and certain uh, mission critical categories uh, of travelers such as uh, those coming to assist uh, with the u.s uh, response to the pandemic followed by student uh, f1 m1 and uh, certain j1 and temporary employment visas okay so this one this um, is uh, regarding a non-immigrant visa uh, applicant okay so they're working on this right here the one i just mentioned they're gonna work in on those and then they're gonna start working on the rest of non-immigrant visa uh, application as well visa cases as well so this also say here that we expect on uh, the volume of type of visa cases on uh, each person we process uh, to depend on local circumstances so they're gonna you know there will be you know those cases will increase eventually you know they will process on um, you know depend on the local circumstances an embassy or u.s um, or consulate will resume educating uh, all routine non-immigrant and immigrant visa cases only 
when adequate resources are available and it is safe to do so okay so right now like i told you guys on um, you know in different videos some of the u.s consulate didn't resume visa or visa services here most of them didn't resume all visa services here and they can only do so when resources are available okay so you just have to be patient on oh, some of you guys like i say who still didn't get your interview letter yet your visa interview appointment letter yet just be patient and know uh, some of you guys who are immediate relative or uh, well and uh, who already receive your uh, visa uh, appointment letter you just have to get prepared to go to the interview okay so basically that's what is going on as far as on uh, the way the u.s consulate uh, are prioritizing uh, uh, different uh, visa cases if you have any question uh, let me know in the description below that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it. if you know somebody who might benefit from this video please uh, share with that person if you like the video hit the like button if you want to be notified every time i have a new video hit the bell if you are new here you like what you seen you've been watching my video you never subscribe please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below this video yes that one yes or click on usa Mon logo over here once again my name is john thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video usa Mon.